Hello! And welcome to yet another couple of Switch video. Some of you have probably been wondering where I've been. Well, cutting a story short. Huh? And a slightly longer version. Hmm. Huh. Well, none of you are here to hear that, so let's just jump right into it. It's time to start making some goddamn videos again. And what are we talking about today? Well, finally! Finally! Beanstar is getting good again. For one and a half months. A lot of things have happened while I've been gone. Bandai have gone completely crazy and they don't... <laughs> And they simply don't know what they're doing anymore with their card designs. So, for a slight moment in time, Beelstar is yet again good. We finally have a very good, consistent draw engine that makes us be able to do some, to be frank, some crazy shit. And you might be wondering who the culprits are, and it's put simply, these two boys right here. And, yeah, let's say Bandai screwed up. These cards are just pure insanity, especially this guy over here. This guy alone totally broke the Japanese meta. He enabled so many toxic strategies right now. So yeah, just like that, emergency is restriction for both of these guys. And uh, some other boy you might have heard of. And some might be wondering, is it really that bad? Yes, yes it is. But I'm here today to prove that yes, it is that bad. And just as I usually say for these combo videos, this is going to be the most high roll situation. We're talking about 5-10% to of the times this will happen. But that's exactly the problem. Like even 50% of that power level is already far too powerful. And the fact that this can happen 5-10% to of the time is just absolute toxic bullshit. Like, no one wants to experience what I'm going to do. Which is setting up a situation where you technically, and I'm not lying when I say this, you win on turn 2 with Beelstar. Sounds crazy, perhaps, but I'm going to show you. So let's hope I still got this. Let's get into it. So let's begin. We are on the play. Our first turn is going to be very simple. We're gonna hatch a demi -mare. We're gonna go into a Gabamon from ST16, draw. Then we're going to simply just play another Gabamon from ST16, passing our turn to our opponent at free memory. So the only thing we require right now for us to be able to do our super disgusting toxic combo, except the perfect draws off the top, is for our opponent to either pass the turn to us at one with a Digimon on field, or putting us to two. As long as we have two memory, they won't be able to stop us next turn. So let's say our opponent chokes out by playing out a 4 cost. Level 4 out on the field, and we go back to our turn. Now, I want you to keep in mind. We currently have 4 cards in our hands at the beginning of our turn. How many cards do you actually think we can draw this turn? Like honestly, what do you think? So I'm actually going to have a counter here, somewhere here. And, it, and uh, let's find out together, because the fact that if I just have a couple of key cards in my hand, and uh, since the entire engine draws so incredibly many cards, the fact that we can cycle through our deck to the point that we can find everything, this can happen more often than that it should be allowed to. Probably not this good, but uh, it can happen, and that's a problem. So, we'll draw for turn will promote the Gabamon. Man, I miss those days when uh, just having two rookies out on the field wasn't the most scary thing in the world. We'll see if your opinion changes on this on the other side of this combo. So, since our opponent has a Digimon on their battlefield, both Gabamons start off your main phase effect will trigger if your opponent has a Digimon, gain one memory, so we'll go to three. We'll start by evolving Gabamon into Gabamon X Antibody for zero, draw. On play and when digivolving, we can reveal top four cards of our deck. We can take two cards among them with Gerurumon or X Antibody in their name to our hand, place the rest at the bottom of our deck. If we two cards with this effect, we trash one. And see here, we got two Gerur boys, so we'll take those, rest to bottom. 
and let's trash. A nice breath. So let's keep the ball rolling. Let's evolve Gabumon X Antibody into Gurumon from SD16 for 2 cost. Draw. Effect. When digivolving, we'll draw one. We'll trash one. Let's trash Rivals Barrage. So here comes the man of the hour. Gurumon X Antibody for 0. We'll draw for Evolution. When digivolving, we'll draw 2. Trash 2. Let's trash a Happy Bullet Showering in a Nail Bone. Then, if Gerurumon or X Antibody is in its Digimon's Dig Evolution cards, gain one memory. And yeah, what the hell is this? Like, we haven't even gotten into the Inheritables yet, and those are just absolutely insane. Not only is Gabumon X Antibody just a cracked up version of the older Gabumon X and Agumon X, like you look at more cards, you draw more cards, it's it's more consistent, and it's both on play and when digivolving. But this boy over here, why did they have to make his effect so goddamn good with pretty much any purple deck or any deck whatsoever that cares about the graveyard, like Apocalypse Mon? And not only that, you gain a memory. Why? But this is also why it's so goddamn powerful for the Beatstar engine, since, I don't know, have you people noticed this? My fellow Beatstar players out there, like, have you noticed that your opponent really, 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 really doesn't want your Icemon to die in your opponent's security? Like, they really don't do that anymore, do they? Like, there's so much boosts and trainings and uh, powerful uh, rookie Digimons with low DP to the po like nothing dies in securities anymore but these cards however do not care about that they do not need your opponent's permission to draw and discard cards they just simply do it by just existing and that's why it's so sad that Bandai made them so powerful because I personally feel as a Beatstar play, I need this, I need to draw and discard cards without me just hoping it dies into security. But most of the time nowadays, it won't. And in even worse, you get punished by those boosts and trainings coming out. So it's always gonna be a losing game. They made these cards so powerful, they have to restrict them. As of right now, I don't even know how the list is going to look like after March. Like, it's probably gonna be a one-off fiesta or something, because, like, the, 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 the engine is so bad that they have to restrict the normal Icemon as well. Like, everything is gone. However, le let's get back into the combo. So not only did this entire combination of this deck gain us a memory, draws two cards, draws one card, draws two cards, and gain another memory, also, when he attacks, will trigger the when attacking effect of Garumon, we'll draw one. Trash one, let's trash another breath. Gabumon, we'll draw one. Trash one, let's trash another nail bone. And now let's talk about whatever these absolutely punkers inheritables are. Gabumon X Antibody, all turns once per turn. When this Digimon would be deleted, if it has Garurumon or Omnimon in its name, by returning two non Digi Egg cards from the trash to the bottom of your deck, prevent that deletion. So it's essentially jamming on my turn and battle protection if my opponents try to kill it on their turn. So let's say Garumon X Antibody dies in your opponent's security, which is probably the most unlikely thing in this video. We could technically save him, that's the crazy part. But uh, you know, we have a kind of a thing going on here, so we do not want to tuck this away even though we get to having him around. But the fact that that is even a choice, that's the crazy thing. Because these effects, you draw one, you trash one, you draw one, you trash one, that means that this effect will always proc. You will always be able to save this Digimon, and you will be able to continuously draw one, trash one, two times each turn, with your opponent if they do not delete things with an effect, will have a very hard time dealing with this. But as of right now, I'd rather he dies. Because I'm gonna proxy the Demi Maramon. I will draw one, trash one. Let's trash Rivals Barrage. So, yeah, why stop there? Let's evolve the Gabumon into Gabumon X Antibody for zero. We'll draw. 
Let's do the effect once again. Hey! Double hit, Garyomon and Garyomon X antibody to our hand, rest to deck bottom. And then we trash one card in our hand. Why not another breath? Let's have all Gabumon X antibody into Garyomon for two. Go into single draw. Effect, draw. And then trash one. Nailbone. So yeah, you, you're probably seeing what's gonna happen here, right? Let's evolve Garyomon into Garyomon X antibody for zero. Draw. Effect, draw two. Trash two. Let's trash Howling Crusher and Jewalt Swarmer. Let's swing with Garyomon X antibody into our opponent's security. Triggering Gabumon, we'll draw one. Trash one. Breath, Garumon, draw one, trash one, Rivals Barrage. And let's say Garumon X Antibody actually dies in security. Now that we actually have cards that uh, we don't really need right now in our trash, by putting two of them at the bottom of our deck, we can negate him from dying, which is just absolutely insane. But you know what's even more insane? that I forgot to gain that memory, but it's actually the fact that if we take a look at our trash right now, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and even 13 7 cost option cards. Which means that currently Beelstar cost 0 to cast on our second turn and I, I I can't even begin how absolutely disturbing the fact that this is even a possibility for us to happen that we could cast technically multiple build stars for zero cost on our second turn I just can't describe it like uh, how is this even possible like our opponent is currently at free securities so all we technically need to do is play out this Beale Star, do a Nail Bone, as we discarded multiple times already, to resurrect, let's say, the Garamon X and the Garamon to our field, making it four attacks. And yeah, as you can see over here, we pretty much drew our entire library. So it wouldn't be impossible to just say that I can go into Shine Garamon Ruin mode for five cost, putting our opponents to four, doing minus 5,000 to our entire opponent's board until the end of their turn. And yes, my friends, this is why the deck is getting restricted. Because if your opponent is able to go this far, you've already lost the game. How are you ever ever going to recover from this? You can't. It's already over. The chances are pretty much that if you that you can't even promote a Digimon right now. Like, even if you have one card that kills one Digimon here and I do not have lethal on next turn, however will you recover? Like, the chances of me having Beelstar or any other toxic card is astronomical. Like, as you can see in the corner, the amount of cards we drew were just... insane. And the fact that we discard them is just even better because it enables us to do this. This is how people get out, like, on turn 3 to Apocalypse Mon. Like, it doesn't matter. Like, it, it's so hard for you to be able to deal with this so early. Like, it, wh whatever can you do to bounce back from this? Nothing. And it just sucks for everyone involved in this. Because we are losing some incredibly needed cards because they made them simply too powerful for no reason. And now EX5 have multiple multiple cards that are either getting restricted or are banned to be played together with other cards because they just simply don't know what they're doing with their design anymore and it's just sad. But at least I can be happy that Beelstar will be good for one and a half months. But hey, I genuinely hope you enjoyed this video and you that you want to see more. I have a couple of ideas floating around in my head as I made in my last community post 
And as usual, if you have a video suggestion, a combo idea, a deck you want me to cover, comment down below. I will try my best to make more videos. And uh, if this is a disaster, well, at least I tried, you know? I tried. I tried to do my girl justice, okay? I tried. But remember to always leave a like, a subscribe, and most important of all, remember to have a great day now. Bye-bye!